welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Beth, part of the Stamping Jill creative team, and I wanted to show you and maybe give you a refresher on the Stamparatus today. Stampin' Up! carries a stamp positioner for perfect placement for your stamps and has for a couple of years now, but I often forget about it. Um, it's just under $50, which is an amazing price point, and you can use it for so many things. I love it when we mass produce things here in the office. Sometimes we'll make a hundred cards and stamping the same image over and over and over can get monotonous or frustrating if you can't get it straight. But with the Stamparatus, it can take all of those issues away. I also know that we have customers who have arthritis in their hands or wrists and using the plate for the Stamparatus is a lot easier than using a smaller block. So there's a lot of great benefits to it but I forget that there's a lot of techniques that you can use with the Stamparatus that are a little bit harder to replicate when you don't have the positioner there. When I saw the Desert Details Bundle that is available in the upcoming mini catalog that comes out in January, I thought that these two stamps here would work very well using the hinge step technique from the Stamparatus. When I first started creating with this suite of products, I started off pretty safe and simple. I used Petal Pink and I used Soft Succulent. Such a great color combination. And came up with this. I moved on to add the Cajun Craze, which I love. This is probably one of my favorite cards. And I love these dies that are featured in the die set. They layer right together. So cute. And these sequins come in different sizes. They're really, really fun. And you can see that pop back there of that dry brush um, DSP. So, so pretty. Moved on to this one. Again, featuring those dies and the dry brush DSP. That is just beautiful. But then I got to where I wanted to use these longer stamps and I started stamping them by hand and I couldn't get them straight. I don't know if you guys are straight stampers, maybe you are all the time, but I, for the life of me, can't cut paper straight or stamp very straight. So when it comes to the Stamparatus, it's such a good tool for me um, because I lack those skills naturally. So I took these stamps. We have one that's a little bit larger. This one measures just about three quarters of an inch, and this one measures about three eighths of an inch, just for your reference, okay? So I took those stamps, and I've got my Stamparatus here. Now your Stamparatus will come with um, some magnets to hold your paper in place. It comes with two plates. I'm just gonna use one today. So I'm gonna pull this one out. They come out really easy, super easy to use. And I'm just gonna use the one to the left, okay? I'm gonna put my piece of cardstock on here. I just have some basic white cardstock. And this is four by five and a quarter, just a, a card front size. Um, I'm gonna put this on here and using the Stamparatus grid paper makes it really, really easy to line up your cardstock where you want it. And then that magnet's just gonna hold my paper right in place, okay? I'm gonna position my clean stamp on my card where I want it to go. Okay, and I'm gonna use, I like using my little grid lines to make sure that everything is very straight because again, that's what this whole thing is about is being that you can make it very, very straight. I'm gonna pick up my stamp just by pushing that plate down and I've got it all ready to go. Okay, I'm gonna start by stamping this in Cajun Craze. I'm just gonna ink up my stamp. And then I'm gonna pull it over and push it down. Make sure you get good even pressure and pull it up. Okay, amazing. Now I'm gonna pull out my plate and I'm gonna position it down one hinge, okay? Again, I'm gonna ink up my stamp and press it down. And that's gonna give me another image, okay? You can do this all the way down your cardstock. Okay, so I'm just gonna stamp those two for reference and then I'm gonna show you how I lined up and did um, my smaller stamp. And then I'll show you the completed product. I'm gonna reposition my plate back in the top hinge and I'm gonna swap out this stamp for my smaller one. Here's another design. This is kind of that Southwestern look, right? I'm gonna try not to get my head in the video too much. 
and I'm gonna just position it evenly in between my other two stamped images. I'm gonna pick it up, and this time I'm gonna use soft succulent ink and ink up that image and pull over and press it down. And you'll get it in the middle and then hinge step that down one, ink it up again, and press it down, and there you go. And you can repeat that pattern all the way down until you get something that looks like this. So fun. I can tell you that if I tried to stamp this by hand just using clear blocks, I would throw away a million of these until I got it straight and just the way I liked it. But the Stamparetta saved me so much time and energy and I was able to create such a fun card. I love that. Let me show you a couple little ideas though that I had. So I told you um, this stamp measures about three quarters of an inch and so I was able to position and do two different colors all the way down and you get almost like a designer series paper quality there. It made me think that you probably have some stamps in your collection that are about that same width that it would work that you could do this hinge step with. But I would say you're about three quarters of an inch is your limit because that is next to each other just like that. Okay, I did it with the three eighth inch one in two different colors and I thought that turned out really cute too. So I think three quarters down you probably could use this little hinge step technique and make a bunch of different designs. Let me show you another sample I created using this technique. I loved how this one turned out. It's probably my favorite from the collection. Um, I made it into a gift card holder. So on the back, I just took some of that dry brush metallic um, designer series paper and created a little fold there that you could put a gift card in. And I did the hinge step technique on this piece of designer series paper with some different um, colors there and cut out a circle and you are sunshine I just made from the different sayings in the stamp set. So I hope that this has refreshed your mind or brought to your mind the Stamparatus again. We have, we've had it a couple of years and it's such a great product. Sometimes we just forget to pull it out and play with it. I bet there's some things in your collection that you could use already, but if you're looking for something new, this delicate desert suite of products works with it beautifully. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you'll join us next week for another Watch It Weekly.